there comes a time when every airplane has to be permanently grounded. Where do they go after they've made their final landing? There are plenty of options for a non-operable aircraft and its parts. The most profitable option for an airline looking to retire some of its fleet is selling the aircraft intact to another airline. If the airplane is lucky, then another airline will want it straight away. Many third world airlines, operating in a less strictly regulated environment than that in Europe and North America, are often ready buyers of aircraft at the end of their working life in regions when maintenance and safety protocols are more rigidly observed. While 727s and 737-200s were being retired in droves in the US after 9-11, airlines in Africa and Latin America were picking them up for cheap. Of course, not all planes will fly again. Boneyards are open-air storage sites for all sorts of aircraft retired from commercial carriers for the nuclear-capable B-52 bomb. The world's largest aircraft boneyard is close to Tucson, Arizona. Its 2,800 acres are littered with more than $32 billion worth of outdated planes, including all of the US government's out-of-service aircraft. A total of 4,400 jets are parked here. The number of commercial aircraft parked at these boneyards is used by industry analysts to gauge the health of the airline industry. Some jets are kept in near-ready conditions for flight, receiving heavy maintenance three times annually in case they're called back to service or sold to airlines looking to upgrade or expand their own fleets. Permanently retired aircraft are slowly dismantled over time. The pace of their decommissioning fluctuates with the demand for working spare parts. Each plane has more than 350,000 individual components, such as an engine, munitions, wiring and electronics. Many of them can be harvested for parts in other aircraft. Almost every part of an airplane, even the toilet bowl, can be upcycled for use in newer planes. The most valuable part of the plane is its engine. It is in the highest demand because its turbines containing rotating blades and discs that must be swapped out on a regular basis to stay in compliance with aircraft safety regulations. You may even be able to find spare parts of aircraft on eBay. Once a jet has been stripped bare of usable parts, its metal frame is redeemed for scrap value. In Europe, where space is at a premium and there is nowhere to store aircraft outside in a stable, weatherproof environment, planes tend to be recycled and broken up far more quickly. And who knows? what happens to the scrap once it gets recycled. Next time you sip a can of coke, consider that what you're holding could have flown across the stratosphere before it landed in your refrigerator.